I just figured out the plot of the new Goosebumps TV show. I'll be sharing which monsters I believe will be appearing in the series, a few plot points, and how I think the story is going to unfold. To get you caught up to speed, Goosebumps has returned to the small screen with a new TV show being released on Disney+. It was announced back in April 2020, and ever since then, little nuggets of info have been dropped. However, we're still waiting for that big info drop, aka the trailer. Almost nothing has been laid out clearly, but we do have a pretty good palette of information from various press releases, casting announcements, and more. So using all available information, I'm attempting to piece it together and figure out what the Disney Plus Goosebumps show is all about. Alright, so the synopsis of the new Goosebumps series is, a group of five high schoolers unleash supernatural forces upon their town and must all work together, thanks to and in spite of their friendships, rivalries, and past with each other, in order to save it learning much about their own parents' teenage secrets in the process. Pretty simple, but in an article released by the website Variety, it's quoted saying, the series is influenced by five of the most popular Goosebumps books. It seems that it's more than just a coincidence that the show is going to follow five high schoolers and that five Goosebumps books are influencing the series. First though, we have to figure out what are the five Goosebumps books. That's hard to say, but thanks to two leaked posters, I think we have the answer. Slappy's dead center in the first leaked poster, so it's safe to say he'll be in it. At the bottom, it's hard to see but it looks like there's a big clock in one of the shattered pieces of glass. This could be the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. More evidence is that the outline of the glass looks kind of like a bird, just like what comes out of the clock. On the topic of glass, I feel like the fact that we're seeing the character's reflection is a hint that the mirror from Let's Get Invisible will be in the show too. Jumping over to the second leaked poster, it's made to look like nine Polaroid camera photos. This has to be referring to the camera from Say Cheese and Die. Also, looking at the confirmed actor's Instagram accounts, these people really like Polaroid pictures, so I feel pretty confident confident that the evil camera will be appearing in the new show. We need one more Goosebumps connection to make five, and I think this mask that appears in both the second and first poster is it. I'm really torn on this one because I think it's either the Phantom of the Auditorium or the Haunted Mask. Now I know that this mask looks nothing like the Haunted Mask, but here's why I think it might be. A new description of the show is leaked along with the posters that read, a group of high school students are haunted by supernatural objects and must work together to solve the mystery of why they have been targeted, only to discover that their own parents' teenage secrets may be part of the reason. I'm specifically looking at the line Supernatural Objects. That fits really well with Slappy, the Mirror, the Camera, and the Cuckoo Clock of Doom since they are all objects. However, it doesn't work so well with the fan of the auditorium. The mask that the Phantom wears isn't really haunted or anything, it's just part of his costume. The Haunted Mask, on the other hand, does fit a lot better with the Supernatural Objects line. Again though, this doesn't look anything like the Haunted Mask we know and love. Now the Phantom's mask is a distinct part of the costume, so maybe the new Goosebumps show will tweak it a bit and make the mask more significant. With all of that, here are my predictions for the monsters slash books we're going to see in the Disney Plus series. Slappy, specifically the version from Bride of the Living Dummy, the clock from Cuckoo Clock of Doom, the camera from Say She's and Die, the mirror from Let's Get Invisible, and the phantom from Phantom of the Auditorium. Now, I think each of these five Goosebumps monsters, or objects, are going to tie to one of the five high schoolers directly. For example, I think that the mirror from Let's Get Invisible is going to be the character James's adversary. The description for James says, he's the class clown who loves the spotlight and hails from one of the wealthiest families in Port Lawrence. The mirror from Let's Get Invisible turns people invisible. For someone who is the class clown, you have to think James would jump at the opportunity to turn invisible and pull pranks on people. Also, in the Shattered Glass poster, James is the only one smiling, and it's an evil looking smile at that. In Let's Get Invisible, the characters get trapped in a mirror universe and replaced with evil mirrored versions of themselves. I think that's why James looks so creepy in the poster. It's not him, it's the evil mirrored version of him. Also, as NA Book Girl pointed out, the name James means replacer. I'm predicting that at some point in the Goosebumps show, James is going to be replaced by his mirrored self. One of the other five high schoolers is Jeff, or Lucas. Both names were thrown around. Since Lucas is what appears on IMDb, we'll go with that. Anyways, the character description for Lucas is that he's a rebellious skateboarder who's grappling with the untimely death of his daredevil father. My theory is that Lucas's daredevil father is going to be the Phantom. In the book, Phantom of the Auditorium, a boy named Brian Coulson was playing the role of the Phantom in his school's play. However, he fell through a trap door and died before he could perform, causing him to turn into a real Phantom. Now, I'm not sure that Lucas's dad is going to be an actor who died like in the Goosebumps book since that doesn't exactly fit with the daredevil description. However, I think once Lucas and the other main characters unleash the supernatural forces, Lucas' dad will be brought back as a phantom. Lucas will then have to confront the phantom and ultimately make peace with the death of his father. Moving on to high schooler number three, we have Isaiah, who is described as a popular star football player whose financial struggles at home has him and his family banking on his athleticism to secure him a full ride to college. Admittedly, I don't have a solid theory for Isaiah, but if one of those supernatural 
objects is going to be Isaiah's obstacle to overcome, I think it might be the camera from Say Cheese and Die. Remember, this is an evil camera that causes something bad to happen to whoever is in the photo. If Isaiah and his family are banking on his athleticism, then it'd be very tempting for Isaiah to snap a picture of the rival team before the big game. Or maybe Isaiah will even take pictures of his own teammates so that he'll look even better when college scouts are watching. I could see Isaiah's character arc being that he needs to do the right thing even when he can and has a good reason to take advantage of a situation. One more theory about Isaiah. I think his father or mother will be dead. This would explain why his family is having financial struggles, but there's another reason I think that. Another character that was announced for the new show is called Nathan Bratt, played by Justin Long. Bratt's character description is that he's the new school teacher who develops a terrifying connection to a decades-old supernatural murder. My prediction is that one of Isaiah's parents died long ago, and it was the evil camera that did it. Next in our high schoolers lineup is the character Isabel. Her description says she's smart and naturally shy with an overwhelming sense of responsibility. There's not a ton to go off of with dealing Isabella to a specific Goosebumps book or item, but if I had to guess, I'm thinking the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. When the cuckoo's head is twisted, it causes the person who did the twisting to go back in time and get younger and younger. Since Isabella has an overwhelming sense of responsibility as a high schooler, maybe she lost a parent at a young age and had to raise herself. Because of that, Isabella never really had a childhood and will be confronting that in the form of the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. And the last of the five high schoolers is Jane, or Margo. Like Lucas, this character was called Jane, but now on the IMDb page it says Margo. Anyways, the bio for Margo says she typically has her head in a book, causing her classmates to think she is a snob, but she's just laser focused on her writing and creating a life that is interesting enough for a memoir. Like the last two, I don't have a really strong idea for Margo, but taking a stab, I think she's going to be involved with Slappy in some way. As I mentioned, I think Slappy will be influenced by Bride of the Living Dummy. His attire bears a strong resemblance to the book cover, so I think Slappy is going to be wanting his bride in the new show. Also, as any book girl mentioned, Margot means pearl, similar to what a bride might wear on her wedding day. Also, if Margot is laser focused on creating a life that is interesting enough for a memoir, having a living ventriloquist dummy that wants to marry you would definitely help. Now with all that said and everything laid out, here's my plot prediction for the Disney Plus Goosebumps show. It's either going to be wrong or completely wrong, but let's give it a shot. So first off, I'm predicting that the show will take place in 1993. The Nathan Bratt character seen in both posters is wearing some retro glasses, and the working title for the show was Port Lawrence 93. Plus, if the Polaroid camera from Say Cheese and Die is in the show, this would explain why a piece of 90s tech would be around, and why a group of teens would use it. Anyways, the show will really get going at this house. The five teenagers will end up there, and I think Margot's father, Colin, will be the reason for it. Since the casting announced that said he's a high school guidance counselor. Once at the house, the five teens begin looking around when they discover some odd objects. A ventriloquist dummy, a Polaroid camera, a grandfather clock, a phantom mask, and a mirror. They'll stumble upon an old book or chest that, when opened, will cause those objects to become haunted and or brought to life. We'll find out that the parents of the five high schoolers were the ones who sealed those supernatural forces away a decade ago. Now freed, the supernatural beings, aka the Goosebumps monsters, begin running amok across the town while also trying to get revenge on the children of the people who imprisoned them. I think the high schoolers won't notice this at first, which will lead to them using the camera from Say Cheese and Die, the mirror from Let's Get Invisible, and the clock from Cuckoo Clock of Doom. However, the group will soon realize what's going on and that the supernatural forces are out to do harm. I'm also predicting that Slappy and maybe the Phantom will use some of those objects like the camera, clock, and mirror against the high schoolers. Once this all happens, I think a new school teacher named Nathan Bratt will help the teens along the way. I also think that Lucas's mob, Nora, played by Rachel Harris, will be the person who helps figure out what the high schoolers need to do to defeat the supernatural forces, since the character description said she dabbles in sorcery. In the end, the monsters will get sealed away again, and the characters will be transformed by this experience. But, being a Goosebumps story, there's gotta be a twist ending. There are several possibilities I thought of, but I'm going out on a limb and saying the ending of the new Goosebumps show is gonna tease a season 2, and it's gonna tease Horrorland. Now, of course, there's no guarantee that the new Goosebumps show will get renewed for a second season, but I think the creators are planning on it. Zach Morris, the actor playing Isaiah, shared a picture of a hat that says Goosebumps Season 1. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I find it odd that they would say Season 1 if the creators weren't already planning on doing a second season. Teasing Horrorland at the end of the first season is guaranteed to get people excited for Season 2. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm excited to watch the new Goosebumps show and find out how wrong my prediction was. But in the meantime, check out this video to see what 10 things Disney needs to get right with Goosebumps.